New York Red Bulls, the visitors in the white tops, red shorts. It is Inter-Miami in the black and pink. We are underway. It's right now on the table, but they've come with some real energy to start this game. They have. Into the box it comes. And John just outside looking for a crack at goal. It was blocked and it falls off Weisman. And the Red Bulls thought they had one there with Fabio. And Fernandez finds the little pocket underneath. Kamala takes the shot. And then at the end of this one, they're just trying to let it run back to Marsman. And Fernandez gets in front, gets a little deflection. It's Fabio at the end of the play. Has an opportunity to strike it. Headed forward by Fabio. Kamala, who scored in the last game, almost had two. Is taken down by Vigal. Keeper's out. Kramala. the initial challenge here. It's just a direct pass again, taking out the backfield for Inter-Miami. There's the tackle. That would have been a foul. In fact, McClamala just gets up and tries to play on. And that's going in the back of the net. And McCoon loses his footing at the end of this play and is just able to do enough. Just kind of here awkwardly goes down early and then it's... Red Bull's problems lately, not getting enough shots and certainly not enough shots on target. Ball played up. Klamala, shot taken. Klamala makes it one nothing Red Bulls. A reward for his and his team's strong start. Shutout streak is over on the part of Inter Miami. Exactly what they've been doing all game long. They find transition moments. Fernandez picks it up in a nice gap. Slip pass in behind. Klamala with the finish. What a great ball that is there. And then the first touch across his body came in from Carmona, actually. And then there it is, just on the left foot. Goes to the near post. Look at all the time and space. The back three all out of sorts. Gonzalez Perez can't get pressure on the ball. He recovers. Nice ball. Carmona. But it's right at Marsman. Can be a good weapon. Backs up a few paces. Now launches that one up high. It'll bounce. Those are dangerous. And there's a second goal. Two nothing. Red Bulls. Fernandez coming through. The danger of a bouncing ball in the box. Just a lack of urgency and awareness inside the box to clear the ball. Look at that. What, three defenders there taken out. Klamala does a good job. You're going to see on Gonzalez Perez after this first bounce. Right here. Klamala comes across. Just a little shoulder and a nudge. And then Morgan, flat-footed at the back post, is just blinded. His eyesight doesn't get his body open. and standing flat-footed waiting for it. Fernandez says, okay, thank you very much. And they found that second goal. Now the key for the New York Red Bulls is can this young team, which they just look so up for this game right now. They look so fresh. Klamala right in front. And Marsman, and he let that one go, but the flag, I believe, was up late. Sean Davis, their captain. Red Bulls have another player down. Fernandez all the way upfield. Lays it back. Carmona. Yearwood. Edwards. And now finally. Is it Figal? Because he's on a yellow. Stuck. He's going to be off here. JP. Yeah. Yeah. But just at the bottom of your screen there, there's absolutely no need for that. It's so ill-disciplined from Figal. Maybe something here for Miami. On the turn, it's Shea scoring it. Shea taken low, and Cornell knocked it away off Morgan. And then that ball went out. I think they got a rule that there was a foul on Higuain there. And it looked like he was given a yellow right before we went to replay. Was it wasn't really well struck from Morgan in the end. He tries to take it first time after it was hit. I mean... Iguain has every right to go for that ball there. It was spilled by yeah. Cornell. And That's a harsh yellow. Yeah, it, it does feel like a harsh yellow. He, he clearly agrees by... They've made a sub at the break, bringing on Vasilev on this right-hand side right there, number 29. We'll be interested to see if he can get them back into this game, but certainly needing to change 
from an attitude perspective, the tempo in which they're playing, and intensity, and they have to pick their moments because they are down a man. Reyes getting to it first. Finding Fernandez. And Fernandez just misses that far post, but his first touch, Fernandez there, and all oh, night yeah. has and been good. Look, he finds a little pocket of space. Gregory's flat-footed now in the defending. Push it past him. So easy. That's going in at the far post. It's Tolkien to deliver. Outswinging ball. It's the left foot. Down. Off the crossbar and in. 3 nothing. Fabio gets the goal. And as bad as it was for Inter-Miami before, it's worse now. What a header this is. Look how much Fabio has to do from here. Outside the six-yard box, outswinging ball from Tolkien, and just wants it more. Look at the leap there. Leardon misjudges it, gets caught behind him. Flat-footed zonal marking there in and around the six-yard box, and what a great header. Marsman going back, trying just the slightest touch on it, pushes it in off the post, and Fabio to go along with his seven assists. side Harper and that's blocked Ripples get to that ball again with Duncan trying to cut it back headed down and in Fabio he's got two Red Bulls have four what a night for New York two great finishes showing off his aerial ability and just too easy here for Duncan to put the ball into the box Stands it up, back post, and he just dunks on Kelvin Leardom here. Look at this. Coming off his shoulder. Thank you very much. Timing so good in the air. A little, a little shimmy from Duncan to create half yard of separation. Defending from Miami. Just stands still. It has been the same all night, so static. But with authority. The cherry on top. The New York Red Bulls capping off what has been a fantastic performance for them. And there you go. What a night for the New York Red Bulls. And you can hear the crowd booing the home side, Stu. That's unfortunate, especially the way they've been playing lately.